there, my name is Thomas Corallo and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, then know that this is one of the most special YouTube channels where we talk all things trading, finances and money in general. So if you're new, please do me a favor and subscribe. So today I'm joined by my great friend Alessandro Rocco Pietrocolo yet again. Pleasure. Welcome on board. And today we are again showing our respect to the local culture and if you don't know, we are in Dubai and we have moved to Dubai and Alessandro is in the process of moving to Dubai as well. So today we are going to be talking about the Dubai life and uh, from, from a very technical and financial perspective and why it's so good right now from the standpoint of company formations, company creation, running of your business and where, okay. is, where is the world heading, uh, in which direction in general. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, Alessandro, both of us, we have lived in so many different places. I've lived in the United States, in Switzerland, in Germany, in Latvia, in Dubai, and among other places. And you've lived in how many places? Oh, I've been living in different places. I, in Italy, in Switzerland, in UK the most of the time. I lived in uh, Russia for a while. I lived in uh, Hong Kong. In Hong Kong as in well. In Hong yeah. Kong as well. And I spent um, a significant amount of time in many countries like uh, right, Kuala New Zealand, Lampur. Kuala Lumpur, Buenos Aires. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I've seen, let's say, more than 50 countries at the moment and wow, all, all, the, all, all the culture. And so I can so you have good something evaluation, to yeah, 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 something to compare to, and uh, this is an amazing experience, and this is why you know I think that your opinion on this topic is especially valuable, because a lot of people right now they're wondering you know what to do with their life, especially in the time of yeah. COVID and everything that is going on, it is a uh, tough spot because for example United States and especially Europe, Europe is the I think uh, worst scenario at the moment, the worst uh, yeah, uh, the worst yeah. scenario at the moment uh, globally because everything is still. Uh, restricted and closed. There are some rumors that they are going to open, but um, I'm very worried for the economy, how it, the economy, it's already been it's, affected. It's, I mean, even if me as, a, as an ex-active trader, I look at the market still quite often and uh, no, no it's, it's, it's a complete paradox. You know, yeah. the economy is in the toilet, but the markets are at all damn high. Okay, there is a uh, technical explanation because of the tech companies that are rising, blah, blah. But if you look at the indexes, they are, you know, have always been the indication of how well the economy is doing. Yeah. Not vice versa. Yeah. You know, so uh, in this case, I don't know. We've spoken about this before, and I, I think that uh, we both agree that in the end of the day, the reasons why we are moving to Dubai, for example, is to sort of to stay away from the boom when it happens, from the explosion of this mass nonsense which is happening in Europe. Yeah, absolutely, and not only, I would say. So Dubai, from my point of view, offer, when I say Dubai, I mean Emirates, uh, offer a good opportunity for many uh, entrepreneurs, digital entrepreneurs, or whoever want to do something yeah. Um, can easily find his uh, way of doing uh, in uh, Dubai and uh, other um, Emirates. Uh, what I really like is the way how they build. So the first things what I really, really like of this country is the Sheikh motto, impossible is possible. This is very, um, have a very um, high with, significance yeah. for me, no? It's, it's very simple, but it's yet so true, right? Absolutely. And they build everything from zero. So they, um, in terms of uh, legislation, in terms of uh, corporation, it's something what is totally new yeah. because they create different free zone and different legislation apply. So in terms of uh, business idea, it's very, very interesting. And also I really like their idea to create free zone according to uh, a specific topic. So uh, a media zone where all media company can invest, join and exchange also information between them. Another uh, yeah. zone where it's more focused on uh, telecommunication. So it's very easy to relocate here. You have some benefit and also infrastructure. I like very much the idea behind because when you do a zone for telecommunication, a zone for media or free zone for whatever, yeah. you're going yeah. to develop infrastructure for that specific business. And this is a huge benefit for 
the entrepreneur, for the investor, for the anyone who wish to relocate in that specific uh, in that specific area. And this, I absolutely love it. So this is what, uh, and as Sheikh said, that the, he wants to buy to become the best place to live by 2040. Absolutely. My personal take, if you uh, you know you compare Dubai to the majority of other cities, I think that he is he is he has done it already. Pretty much with you know the, even the COVID restrictions and I mean there is still COVID, I mean there are, there are still restrictions but they are you know rational. It's not like we are closing everything and killing our economy. Uh, I mean there are certain logical ways of how to deal with COVID, but at the same time profit from the global search for a place to move your business to. Yeah. And this is the thing: Dubai is attracting I don't know billions upon billions of dollars at this time. Absolutely. Because everybody whom I know is <clears throat> trying to move to Dubai. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely right. And it's also, uh, I mean, if we compare with the other uh, apps, when I, I can talk about, uh, I can talk about fintech because maybe both of us are more uh, connected with that. So the, the the biggest hubs in the world is like uh, Los Angeles, you know, San Francisco, yeah. you know, the California one. We have New York, we have London, we have Dubai, Singapore, Hong Kong. Moscow for Russian market and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. former, and after Auckland, Sydney. So that are the biggest, uh, no financial, let's say financial hub, etc. Of course, in Europe we can discuss about Frankfurt, but they don't have such um, innovation as uh, the, the, the other apps did, and in terms of. Uh, uh, in terms of legislation, in terms of yeah. innovation, etc. But because Europe have for like one uh, sure. legislation, so it's just a bit bit different. And if you compare the city, I mean, you can easily understand how easy and more comfortable it is uh, to relocate to Dubai in terms of doing business. How easy and how fast it is for you yeah. as a foreign to open a company here, to get a visa, uh, to get residency, and to start to work, to hire people. To everything, everything I mean, is so much more open. As well, an example, service, that service, service, wherever you go, it's fantastic, uh, yeah. fantastic service. Everything is clear. If you don't understand anything, you just ring them up, yeah. and you have the uh, information, no problem. And everything is fast. So even if there is something what you didn't uh, file. No, correctly, yeah. or you need to redo something. It's not a problem because everything is happen quite, uh, yeah. quite fast. And they are also quite liberal when it comes to your uh, business model. Because what I found yeah. with Europe, and uh, especially I had I had companies in different places. One of the worst places ever was Latvia, and uh, I had a company in Latvia, and uh, my accountant, she was looking at the things that we were selling and those were also digital products. It was uh, the beginning when we did something with uh, the uh, trading education that I'm offering, the thomascrollo.com website. And uh, she looked at it and she said, just move away to another country. Just open a company elsewhere and move your, engage move your business because you will end up going to the IRS explaining what you're doing more than you'll be working. Yeah, 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 it's absolutely... And Europe, it's not just Latvia, it's also Europe. Everywhere. And, uh, they are so strict on uh, everybody. They think that everybody's laundering money yeah. or something like that. So it's becoming almost impossible to do any business whatsoever. Yeah, and also you should consider for the digital business uh, all the tax um, implication in terms of uh, VAT, in terms of uh, the point of sale, yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> which and is it's what much, zero. much more complicated. Which the tax is what zero? In Dubai, we do, yeah, absolutely. Zero. So you make the a million thing, dollars. The million yeah. dollars is yours. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty much uh, simple. I mean, uh, there is no any type of tax. You just have a fixed uh, tax what you pay. Uh, it is your license yeah. fee of the company, what is fixed every year, and it depends not from turnover, but from how many people you employ, how big is your office, etc. Right. So yeah. you pay just a one-off, and it's a, a sort of uh, interesting parameter, what is totally different because. Uh, in Europe or in the States or anywhere else that you are taxed on the profits, on the turnover, you know, you are generating. While here there is like a sort of uh, fixed one-off tax mm -hmm. and um, 
it, it, it goes according to how many people you employ, how big your office is, and yeah. uh, if you have a warehouse or not. I mean, it's different, totally different logic. And this is one of uh, first yeah. one of one of one of the point. Second, the VAT is much easier. So um, here it's only five percent, and you need to um, you need to apply for VAT only if you if you're a mainland company. Or? If you are no, even if you are free zone, but uh, you need to sell to the local not to local company for more than hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I understand. Yeah. So for the majority of uh, digital product, they are not focused only or import export or whatever. Uh, they that they are not uh, focused on, on on exactly on local market. So this five percent. Uh, it's not um, yeah. it's not affected for mainland company of course there are some um, different uh, rules what apply but anyway it's uh, always a very small uh, yeah yeah very small point but I think in just in general from the perspective of business and even physically relocating to Dubai I mean as we spoke about all these technical things perfect reasons it's all rational etc. But then there is something that, you know, I'm one of those conspiracy theorists, you know, you could say that uh, the way I look at Europe and United States right now with uh, the way with the, do the dollar has always been of concern, in my opinion, with all the current debt and how it's all accumulating and uh, the way that the United States government is treating this debt. It seems like there might be a situation when uh, the dollar might stop existing. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, and the same thing goes for Europe. Europe is also very shaky. Look at UK; they left. Somebody else is also looking to leave right now. Was it France? Um, yeah, there was a different. Uh, even Italy discussed this. There was something also in Central East Europe. Because it's it's not just not working Hungary. in the way that they are doing it. It just is a very <laughs> complicated system that is unfortunately not producing the result that it might be used to produce. It's a nice idea, but it does work in practice. So theory, it's nice. Theory is one thing. Theory is practice, one thing, but yeah. practice is a bit difficult to work, to work with. And that's one of the points when it comes to compare where you want to live and when you want, uh, when you want to run your business. I mean, a part of the tax that now, if you have to apply for the five percent uh, of the VAT, or if you want to open any business activity and you have the um, service charge, what is like, seven, every Emirates have a different, I mean, a part of the tax, what is anyway, if, even even if we consider five plus, uh, five for VAT and seven yeah. for the local, is any 12, what is even half uh, than average, only VAT yeah. tax in Europe. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm not want to be focused a lot on the tax, but also on the simplicity. Of, of operation. So you just yeah. set up, you have your business idea, you set up your business and you are ready, uh, you are ready to go. So um, it's what a lot I, less bureaucracy. Exactly. So I like that they eradicate a bit from the common law. So they take, they, they, they look at what the legislation was in the States and in the, in, yeah. the, in the UK and they come out with some nice idea what work for the local market and yeah. incentivize the people to relocate here. So whatever you want to do is something what uh, um, open a company and uh, have everything up and running, take you a few days or maybe a few weeks, you know. Uh, and, and nobody's that, that asking is, you stupid questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's quite uh, quite straightforward. The same, the same scenario for the bank, of course, you need to show the history or you need to show a bit of who you are, but after they let you, they let you work easier. I mean, of course, we all be talking about genuine, uh, genuine business and real right. business plan and real uh, business idea. Yeah. So, for example, Thomas is selling some digital product. I'm selling a sort of digital service uh, in term of um, consultation. So, uh, many other people sell a service or goods. So, it, I mean, the business should be real and uh, tangible. So, for example, Thomas can show his course and his yeah. um, so there website. is something standing yeah. behind just the basic the money that is moving yeah 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 right yeah. right absolutely but I must say that is quite uh, quite quite easy comparison with other uh, with other uh, is the places. easiest is the easiest place. it's uh, it's the easiest yeah I would say in, I mean if we compare with the fintech we can compare with Singapore yeah. That is still uh, it's still very easy to open the company. A bit more difficult to get your sync pass if you wanna get yeah. residence because there are a sort of limitation. So every year there is a sort of uh, let's say X European or X American or 
X amount yeah. of person who can enter and it's obviously much more expensive. And in Singapore, there is an exemption of the tax, yeah, but yeah. after the three years, you end up to pay around 16, yeah. 16 and a half or 17%. Right. So, uh, and also it's much more complicated than here to open uh, a bank account, for example. Everywhere is a lot more. I mean, it used to be so much easier to do it in China. Right now it's impossible. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, wherever it's it's much more complicated than uh, it's much more complicated than here in terms of uh, uh, opening a business, set up, relocate. So we are not talking about uh, uh, people who just wish to open for tax reason or some yeah. uh, shady reason a company somewhere. We are talking about who come to the country, yeah. open a company, become residents, start to run his business. And we compare this what happened in Dubai, maybe with Singapore or between with uh, UK, etc. And when we compare, uh, we can see that definitely Dubai is uh, uh, much more affordable yeah. and uh, easier than uh, other, than other uh, yeah. jurisdiction. No questions then. From a te technical per perspective, then Dubai is, and uh, I, I've experienced it firsthand as well. So Dubai is really the best place at the moment. But besides that, as I said, I, I think that, well, what we see happening in Latvia and some other, you know, uh, Eastern European countries that people are really starting to starve. So it's the governments are taking pretty much close to zero action when it comes to the support of their citizens. The United States did a bit better than... I think in terms of assistance uh, for during this pandemic, we had just the United States, the UK, Germany, Austria, Australia. Uh, it's the country who just help a little bit. Uh, Everything else is just the... Russia uh, did as well some sort of very small program, but I mean... At least something, yeah. Some, yeah, there was just some kind of deduction in tax and then, then there was some yeah. sort of uh, money given yeah. one shot to the, um, to the people, but all other... Pretty yeah, much, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty unreliable. And what yeah. I think is with the doors opening up in Middle East and this becoming the next, you know, big hub, um, I think that there is, you know, it's out of the question that the future of business, the future of networking is in Dubai. Everyone whom I know is right now in Dubai and they are looking to stay, get their residency, move their business here and, you know, optimize their taxes. So uh, it's, it's just a hot topic right now. Yeah, I think for uh, an, an entrepreneur or a startup or uh, somebody who is already have a business and he looking for a nice place to live than Dubai, uh, it's definitely a very yeah. good, a very good, uh, very good choice. And also security. I mean, it's we, the we, most important. Yeah. Yeah. Healthcare is very good. Of course, if you are not local, you should pay your insurance. But we're talking about for very good insurance, we're talking about hundred, hundred twenty dollar a month. So if you consider that you are not paying the tax, and I, yeah, mean, yeah. It's, I mean, I mean, if you consider that you receive two thousand dollar salary in Europe, you will pay half in the tax. So it's like one thousand a month what you constantly are paying. And if you compare with the Dubai system, maybe you can, you may end up to having uh, a full um, a full insurance maybe for two hundred dollar, but it's very. Uh, that's, what people, that's what people are misunderstanding. They're saying that Dubai is so expensive. Sure, there are certain things that are a bit more expensive. Maybe the food can be a bit more expensive than depending on where you live, the it real depends estate. Where, of course, it depends where you live. But, I mean, of course, if you live in the middle of Dubai Marina or downtown or uh, uh, Palma, or, of, of course, you know, it's much more expensive. But it depends with what we compare. If so, you compare it to London, of it's course, a cheap place. If we, of course, if we compare with Canary Wharf or with uh, Hampstead, or if we compare with Marina Bay in Singapore, or um, with New York City, uh, with Manhattan. New York, with Manhattan. So then, obviously, it's a cheap place. It's, it's cheap place you know, <laughs> uh, it's much, it's much, uh, it's much cheaper. And just, I like always to talk about uh, numbers. I mean, uh, a two thousand dollar rent get you a great, uh, nice three, three bedroom apartment. Yeah. Two, 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 three. two, three bedroom apartment in a nice condominium with pool, yeah. with facility. And it's something what in Singapore, in London, in New York, probably $2,000 not get you almost nowhere. A of, shed, a shed somewhere on the outskirts <laughs> of, yeah. Of course, there are much cheaper solution, a bit not on the cost, or maybe just like, uh, let's say 15 minutes from the center. But, 
much cheaper. I don't know, you can find yeah. even for five hundred dollars a month. But it's going to be a bit crazy. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But again, but it's you save so much on taxes in Europe. I mean, if you run a business, if you have a company, you want to pay, for example, twenty uh, percent on your income. Then you want to pay twenty percent of the dividends. So that's about forty percent. So you make a million dollars, four hundred thousand per year gets tossed out on taxes when. 400,000, you can just buy yourself an apartment uh, somewhere in downtown. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely. the whole difference. I mean, yeah, is it more sorry. expensive? Yeah, but depending on, for example, if you Depends compare it to what? Eastern Europe, for example, if you compare it to Latvia, it's, you know, maybe twice or three times as expensive to live here, perhaps, than in Latvia. But if you think if you're making some money or, you know, your turnover is, you know, a million dollars a year or maybe even half a million dollars, uh, it, it's by far, you save so much money on taxes that you completely forget about everything else. But then there is also you have to uh, take into consideration insurance is much cheaper than car insurance. Car is, insurance is also is easy, yeah. ten times cheaper than some in places like Switzerland or UK or whatever. Gas is much cheaper. Cars themselves there is no tax, so uh, they are a lot cheaper. I mean the cars that I bought and you can check out my YouTube channel with a few cars that I've been buying recently. They are like 30 40 percent cheaper, cheaper than, than in Europe. Europe, and there are so many. Swiss watches are cheaper and certain clothing items and some luxury brands are going to be cheaper. The cheapest Rolex I've ever seen is actually in Dubai. So in Dubai airport and in Dubai in general. But that's that's the thing. So if you just focus on one aspect that is a bit more expensive, you could say that Dubai is more expensive. So if you, for example, if you're looking to move to Dubai as somebody who is working a nine to five job somewhere as a manager, then it might be tough. Of course, but if you're running a business and you have yeah. a sustainable history and you're making money, so your product is in demand, moving to Dubai will change your life. Absolutely, yeah. I would say it's much uh, a better city for an uh, entrepreneur that they wish to relocate here and um, launch their new venture or just relocate the, their own business. Uh, for employees, obviously it depends. But I mean, who is in the nine to five? Uh, yeah. um, is, who is in the nine to five um, type of job? I mean, it could be some difference. I don't know, maybe in terms of uh, social and. But the, I think the fact that uh, uh, you are not taxed. So if you, if you receive, for example, now two thousand dollar two thousand dollar in Europe means that your salary is like four thousand dollars. So if you find a company who pay four thousand dollar in Dubai, with the two thousand dollar in tax you save, you can easily buy for you any insurance, so you can protect or right, you right. can it's all you reinvest can as you yeah, want. Yeah, so yeah. it really depends how we uh, how we discuss. Of course, we are talking about um, no qualified qualified yeah. profession and cetera and cetera and yeah. all. Right, so I guess that these are the most important aspects there. Might be, you know, a bit tedious and very detailed, but this is what matters and I think when it comes to the business world and when it, you know you're looking into optimizing your expenses and maximizing yeah. your profits. So Yeah, and in, in in Dubai it's not only because sometimes there are some places where in the middle of nowhere where maybe you have no tax but you are really in the middle of nowhere. And also you're not so um, you're not so trustable, you know, in, in the in the way you may have, I don't know, a license from uh, some island, you know, some offshore island, but you're not so uh, trustable as, uh, as, yeah. as, but the, 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 the thing what I really like in Dubai, that if you have uh, a license, I don't know, you are an edge fund here, or you are a payment institution, or whatever yeah. you are, an exchange, now there is also crypto, crypto exchange, and there's yeah. different exchange opening as well up, and there is huge interest in the, in the in Emirates. So anyway, you come from a very strong jurisdiction, so your trust um, trustworthy is huge in, in in the market. Yeah. Uh, and I like, I love it. This combination between uh, the service you get and the price you pay, and uh, the um, environment around you. I think what you pay, what you get. It's a very the best deal. The best deal the for best the money. Deal. Yeah. yeah, best deal for yeah. the money. All right, amazing, Alessandro. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for giving me the feedback and your personal, super detailed and super tedious experience. Uh, My pleasure. Th thank you very much. And always uh, nice to talk. Yeah, I'll leave all the links to Alessandro down in the description as well as the link to one of the best trading learning uh, webinars. So if you're looking to get into trading, check it out. And there is also the links to my 
trading learning programs, really famous, cool, amazing trading learning programs. Also in the descriptions if you want to learn and get into trading and learn all the proper ways of trading in the financial markets of crypto, futures, stocks, etc. So that's the place to look. And uh, Alessandro, thank you very much. My pleasure. And I'll see you all in the next videos. Cheers.